Gary, Peter, congratulations. An absolute demolition job in your first game in the World Cup. You must be delighted with the performance. I think when I, when I seen them, we were 4 0 up. I, I went, what's happening here? You know, Peter was, he started off brilliant. You know, it's, uh, it was good. And like I say, against Poland, tidy, tidy team. So, yeah, to get the win like that. Do you think the players that played in the group have a slight advantage over the seeds coming in the fact they played in the heat twice and they know what it's all about? Yes and it's no. It's kind of getting to throw the board. Maybe it's get used to the board. That's, yeah. that's what I like to... I was also, you went up there and then we come off stage yeah. and you went, that seemed shorter, well, I was lower, lower, yeah. lower than the practice board. But it's like, obviously, Gary's out, so it's going above the treble 20 and he's like, finding it, finding it. <laughs> I felt like it was low up there compared yeah. to practice boards, but yeah. like I say, Peter was banging them in, so not to worry. Coming into the tournament, all the talk has been around England, Luke Humphries and Michael Smith, but are you here to... to Phil, it's about the same about the football, isn't it? <laughs> the, the, the foot, it's, it's always about England and that, and it never comes good, so why worry about it? <laughs> they, always go, they always go home, <laughs> don't they? And that's a bit of banter, by the way, before you all go <laughs> mad. All right. Eh, eh, listen, talk away. Like I say, being underdogs and that, and just play that. Yeah, see what happens. Gary, for yourself, were you concerned where the game was because you've not thrown a competitive guy in around six weeks? Were you slightly nervous about it? A, wee, a wee bit nervous up on stage, yeah. It's been a, it's been a, a few months, but uh, yeah, like I say, these lads do it all the time now, and it's. I used to do it all the time, I think I'd be alright, but when you get up there it's a bit of a different feeling, but uh, that soon comes back to you, you know, so hopefully, I mean, we've got a few busy weeks coming up, need to get used to it quickly. Both ready on, ready for the ones. match play. <laughs> <laughs> Both on two World Championships, two World Cups, what would it mean to have a third for Scotland? I'd give you boys a bad time, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, listen, but we're here to play, I mean, last year we played Wales, you know, it was going to be a tough game against Gilvan and Johnny, and it was Johnny. Johnny, Johnny was on fire. He was, was Johnny was amazing last year. Yeah, yeah. You know, so it was. Uh, yes, still not spoke them since. congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. A lot of people have earmarked Paul and as their dark horse for the World Cup, but they didn't worry at all. Falling it up is that a statement victory considering people had high hopes for them? Listen, a lot of teams come with high hopes. You know, I've I've been watching the Philippines and all these teams for years and I said to Peter last night when we were having a throw they're getting better and better and better you know and it'll soon be to a stage that they're going to be just as good as every other player and yeah. they're not far away from it just now you know so yeah roll on darts Peter a lot of people talk about your Premier League campaign but away from that you've been playing some pretty good stuff this year where, where are the confidence levels at the moment? It, it's really good uh, obviously last, last week I played in a European uh, uh, lost to Michael Smith, but in my head, you know, it's like I thought I was going to win the tournament. So if I can believe I can win the tournament with the players who was involved in it, I'm in a good place. So you know, I'm only going to go upwards and onwards. You know, Premier League, Premier League, that's gone, dusted, and you, you just got on. I've got the World Cup to win with guys now, and uh, you know, that's my job. And about a minute ago, you mentioned the world match play. Is it important here to have a, a good tournament, especially you, Gary, where you've not played in about six weeks, to prepare for that second biggest tournament on the calendar? No, it's just getting used to this heat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's this is good. our warm up. This is good for the heat. Why? Blackpool's worse, but this is honestly, yeah. that's ridiculous. Why anyone likes summertime? I do not know. But uh, no, I mean Blackpool. Like you say, it's one of the biggest tournaments, and it is hot. It's always hot in Blackpool. And it's, uh, Wait yes. for the newbies going there, and yeah. they're spearing it. Yeah. They're spearing it. Yeah. They're going. Oh. Yeah, great tournament. You know, one of the, one of the top tournaments. You know. Guys, huge well done. Thank you very much. Thank so, you. Thank you.